Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can enable and install Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft PowerPoint. So let's get right into it. First and foremost, what you need to get, get access to Microsoft Copilot is a 365 subscription. Once you have that, you will have access to Copilot, then you can go on to install it. But first, make sure to install Office and the latest versions of all apps. In this case, it will be PowerPoint for you. However, make sure that the entire package is installed just to make the entire process easier. Uh, then you can use all the features that are available. Then you need to enable Copilot through the app that you want, in this case, PowerPoint. But first, let me go over the installation process. Firstly, you need to log into your account where you, again, have the 365 subscription and then go to the download section. Once you're there, download the Copilot file. And once you've downloaded, run it. Uh, you will have the most basic installation wizard as is customary for all applications. And then once that is installed, you need to open it, enter your credentials, and you will then sign in and be able to use it. Then to enable it for the application of your choice, in this case, PowerPoint, launch PowerPoint, make sure it is the latest version, click on the file menu, which is in the top left, select options and a drop down menu will appear. Uh, and then in the window that appears, navigate to the advanced tab, then scroll down until you see editor options, tick the box next to enable copilot, and then save the changes by clicking OK, and everything will be done. Now, copilot is an AI assistance tool, uh, similar to ChatGPT, not exactly the same. It is Microsoft's own proprietary software. However, that is pretty much it. It'll help you with anything you need in PowerPoint from there on forth. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you in another video.